start working from top view which is this one here so I'm gonna bring my drawing to top view so you can either go to custom view click that and select top or inside the view panel click this drop down arrow and select top now I'm gonna use ellipse so inside the draw panel click ellipse and specify center of ellipse click anywhere on the screen and go sideways. Make sure your ortho mode is on or polar tracking. Go sideways for half of the distance here, which is uh, half of that is one. And for the height, which is one, enter 0.5, which is half of um, the height as shown here. Now, the distance from the smaller ellipse from the bigger one is 0.1 so what I'm gonna do is just offset O for offset enter and specify offset distance just enter 0.1 enter click this object click below that object now I'm gonna draw the circle and the distance from the quadrant here to the center of the circle is 0.3 so C for circle Specify center point of circle. Shift right click and select from. So it's going to be from this quadrant and go sideways. And enter point 3. And for the radius, which is this one here, is point 1. So enter point 1. And enter. Now I'm going to type in M text. For the letters click anywhere here and type in ac 3d cad i'm gonna reduce the size for this one so i'm just gonna scale so sc for scale command just click anywhere here and maybe enter point nine all right now i'm gonna explode this text click express tools and inside the text panel click this drop down arrow by the modify text and select explode and click this object and explode now i'm gonna bring my drawing to southwest isometric and extrude the outermost ellipse and the thickness for that looking from front view is 0.1 so inside the modeling panel select extrude command select this object move your cursor downward for 0.1 and the thickness for this smaller ellipse is 0.01 as shown here so this one here this one so select the object extrude command move your cursor upward for 0 0.01 so I'm just gonna change this to realistic so you can see what happened here now what I'm gonna do is union the objects so inside the solid editing panel select union command select this one and this one now I'm gonna find that circle so change this to wireframe and extrude this one upward or downward and move the object so move upward because I'm gonna use this one to subtract or to poke a hole through this face here but before, before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking, object snap tracking, and object snap. 
Now I'm just gonna change this to realistic so it's easier to visualize and I'm gonna use subtract command inside the solid editing panel select the object you want to keep right click and select the object that you want to use to subtract now I'm just gonna turn off the grid and move this one move I'm just gonna eyeball from the center here and attach it to the face of this object well, sometimes you don't see this uh, blue solid blue color so shift right click hover over the 3d or snap and select center of face here there and snap so I'm gonna move the text so just select the whole thing right click select move and click somewhere here and to make sure we are pasting it or placing it at the very top so just shift right click and hover over 3d or snap and select center of face and you can see that dark blue color just snap I'm gonna bring this to top view and maybe move this one change this to wireframe I'm just gonna move this one a little bit or I can move this object here move a little bit here all right I'm gonna copy this object because this one is for embossing another one is to engrave the text put it somewhere here so select the text and extrude it inside the modeling panel select extrude command extrude it upward for 0.01 and if I change this to realistic you can see the embossed and what I'm gonna do is just union the whole thing so inside the solid editing panel select union command and just window the whole thing now this is one object for this one I'm gonna change this again to wireframe so it would be easier to grab the text And extrude command but this time you extrude it downward for 0 0.01 I'm gonna use this text to subtract so use subtract command inside the solid editing panel select the object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to use to subtract which are the text so if I change this to conceptual or maybe shaded with edges you can see that this object is chiseled I'm gonna try realistic here there you go now I'm gonna apply materials I'm gonna minimize this one maximize this screen or this type window. in materials and I'm gonna change the object or the materials to wood instead of metallic paint so click this drop down arrow select wood and I'm gonna bring up this stain light polish up here so just click that arrow and dark medium gloss and I'm gonna apply the light color on the embossed wood and as you can see here the scale is way too big so click this pencil icon to change the scale click image and down to the scale section click that and, and uh, change it to 0.5 and for the rotation just drag the scale here and change the angle And you can also change the brightness to so just make it a little bit darker and close and close this one and for the solid stain apply it on the top here so just drag it um, use the left uh, button of your mouse and hold down the control key at the same time and drop it here 
I'm gonna make it darker and change the texture. So click this pen. Click this one here. Change the scale to 0.5. Enter. And for the rotation, just drag it somewhere here. There. And for the brightness, make it darker. And click OK and close. Now I'm gonna make this inside of the A darker. So just drag this dark color. Same um, process. Use the left button of your mouse and hold down the control key at the same time and drop it here. Drop it here, drag, control key, hold down, and drop it here. Now the next one would be the engrave. So I'm gonna use dark color for the whole thing and apply light color on top here of the smaller ellipse. So left click, drag, and hold down the control key and drop it here. And I'm gonna apply darker or lighter color here. So light, same process, drag, control key and drop it here. And now I'm gonna apply, um, I'm gonna close this one now and apply fillet. So go to solid, select fillet edge, and go down to the command window, click radius option and enter 0 0.01. And select the edge, select this edge and this edge, this edge here, and this one at the bottom, enter and enter again. Apply fillet edge again. And AutoCAD remembers the last value that you enter. So click this edge, this one. The final part would be the key chain ring. So I'm just gonna bring this drawing to top view and type C for circle. Click anywhere on the screen and enter 0.5 for radius. And I'm going to cut this portion here from the midpoint for this one. The distance is 0 0.08. So I'm just going to draw a line first from quadrant to the center. And offset this one for 0 0.04, which is half of 0 0.08. Offset. Enter. And enter 0 0.04. Enter. Select the object you want to offset, click above that line, select the object you want to offset, and click below that line. Now I'm just going to trim, so TR for trim command, enter twice, and trim this portion here and this one. Now I could delete those two, and I'm going to bring this object to southwest isometric. I'm just going to hide these two so it's out of the way. So select the objects, right click anywhere on the screen. Hover over isolate and select hide objects. Now I'm going to copy this one and the distance between the center here to this center is 0 0.025. So copy, click anywhere on the screen as base point and enter 0 0.025. I'm going to bring this drawing to southwest isometric, southeast. All right. And I'm going to draw a line from this in point to this in point. It's just going to be a guide because I'm going to draw. So click this drop down arrow inside the draw panel. Select the three point. Um, no, not the three point. Start in radius option. Click the in point here 
and click the midpoint and in for radius inter the radius here is 0 0.07 inter 0 0.07 inter which is this one here now another arc from this in point to the midpoint or in point of that and enter the radius of 0 0.07 enter now I could delete this line and join the segment so J for join command select this arc and this arc this circle and this one now everything is um, connected or join and this is already one object now I'm gonna draw a circle with a radius of 0 0.01 circle click that in point and enter 0 0.01 enter now inside the modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select sweep command select the object you want to sweep right click to enter and select the path now i'm gonna apply fillet here so go to solid select fillet edge go down to the command window select radius option and enter 0 0.005 for radius select this edge and this edge enter and enter again to accept now i'm gonna minimize this one and maximize this window and just right click anywhere on the screen hover over isolate and select an object isolation now i'm gonna rotate this object so go to home and inside the modify panel select uh, 3d rotate select the object you want to rotate and um, i'm gonna bring this uh, up first so hover over this red ring click and just bring it upward just follow the green dash line click and then press escape move this one from just snap anywhere here and snap it somewhere here move Apply materials, so type in materials. And I have chosen here uh, from inside the metal. I'm gonna use um, this one here. This will be good. And drag this one and drop it here. It's gonna close. I think we are done so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial and see you again